Hey, what's up guys? So, I made a config here. It's a practice config for you guys. Uh, basically what it does is, you know, and it, it enables cheats here. It's going to add some commands on, such as the grenade trajectory, show impacts, and a couple binds here to get you going easily. And uh, I had a lot of people ask me, you know, how do you place a bot in the server? Or how do you put the grenade trajectory or, or you know, the show impacts, which is where you shoot, you know, it shows the uh, where you shot and if it goes through the wall, etc. So you can practice spams. And you, you know, you can place down the bots just to see, you know, if your shadow shows somewhere. It's just a practice config so you can, uh, you know, what you can do, you can practice. So going over it here, the main thing I'm going to say here is if you're going to place a bot, you must have a bot in the server. If you don't have a bot in the server, your game will crash. So I made it. A bind here to add a bot on T side. You can change this to CT side or T side. You know, you just obviously want it. Uh, it doesn't really matter what side it goes to, really. But uh, yeah, so you can bind a key for that. So just erase the key here, put the key that you want it to be, you know, whatever you want it to be there. And then you have the bot underscore place, which actually places the bot. And then you can just press uh, this button once here. It's just going to give you all four of the grenades. And once you press that once, you'll have all of them and you'll be good to go. You won't have to press it again. And then a no clip bind here, which is what you can fly through the map, go through walls, etc. So you tap that once, you're in no clip. You tap it again, you're uh, back to running on the ground and whatnot. So SV cheats, round time so it doesn't restart, kicks all the bots, ends the warm ups, put no freeze times, puts uh, grenade trajectory, shows impacts, does some uh, team balancing stuff so you can add multiple bots on the other side if you want. Uh, bot underscore stop is what freezes the bot and puts them uh, stop. SV infinite ammo in case you want to learn some spams. I put uh, the buy time and start menu uh, in here too. So in case uh, you want to just buy in the actual buy zone to buy your weapons, you can do that. You can also do uh, some things I'm going to show you later in the game. And then, you know, just some extra little stuff there. All right, so we're in game here. The one thing you're going to want to make sure you have on is your console. So options, game settings and enable developer console yes that's the only thing you need and it's the button right below your es escape uh, going into it, you're just gonna open your console pick the map you wanna go to map space and then the map it'll come up what you have in your options there so we're gonna go to inferno here we'll let it load and then we're gonna do exe prac and I'll show you what that does pretty much just executes the config there and loads you up and such you you're ready to roll I'll just go over some of the things here. So you see we have like tons of bots in here. Uh, that stuff's on because I've already loaded up my game before. But if you do exe prac, it kicks all the bots, puts the freeze time to zero, gives you 60 uh, minute round time. It puts on the SV impacts, puts a bunch of money in case you want to buy in the freeze time. Then you can see like what's spammable. You know, like you can't spam that. You can spam this. Uh, so yeah, that's what Impacts does that. You got the bind to give you all your nades, and then once you got all your nades, you have infinity of them, and you can see the trajectory in case you want to learn a pop flash for somewhere. Right. Then you have a key to add a bot. You can just do bot underscore add T if you want. Usually you just got to do it twice here. First guy gets kicked, so bot marks there. And then you have your bind to actually place the bot anywhere you want in case you want to check out anything. You know, it's whatever you want to do with it. See shadows, stuff like that. And that is bot underscore place. And the, the no clip is what I'm doing right now. I'm uh, flying, and then if you, you know, no clip, you go through the walls. That is bound to my N. So just worry about this one here. And then it's in the config already. And, uh,. Oh yeah, and also to give yourself some weapons if you're not in the buy time, it's just give space weapon underscore and then the name of the weapon, uh, whichever one you want. You know, you kind of just got to know if you just Google all the things, but you can pretty much guess whichever one's going to be. If you want to drop yourself, whatever weapon you want there. And uh, yeah, I hope this helps out some of the, you know, questions that people ask about placing bots, you know, all that stuff there. And I'll show you quickly how to uh, 
insert this config in your uh, folder in case you don't know how. So it's just exe underscore prac. You can name it anything, and I'll show you how to install it next. Alrighty, so here is the path to install a config file. And this goes along with you know, installing my practice config, your auto exec, or a config that you know from a, a different player you want to try out, something like that. It's always going to be in this area. So you're going to go your C drive, which is your main hard drive, program files, Steam, Steam apps, common, Counter Strike Global Offensive, CSGO, and then inside the CFG config, which is inside CSGO, you click that, and this is where your auto exec is, uh, your regular config, and this is also where you'll put the prac. So if you were to download my config, you'd open it up and just take all these like this and then you would simply just drag them into that file and it would replace them. And that's pretty much it guys, that's how you install it. Thanks for watching.